Starsless and Alpha 3.14.0 is still going strong through its PTU Wave 1 phase. And we have an I and J patch with a variety of changes and bug fixes. Let's take a look at the latest PTU patch notes for these patches. There have been multiple Orison and Crusader performance and lighting polish passes. This should see your frame rates in those areas being much less painful. They have done core tuning for ships, lots and lots of it in fact. They updated more ships and turrets to exchange default ballistic loadouts with energy weapons, because energy weapons are the sort of focus, uh, really sort of ballistic weapons are significantly more powerful but have so little ammo, they're extremely specialist, but energy repeaters, uh, they're very much the um, meta, not just because they're good and that they're tweaking them to be good, but because they uh, want them to be the staple uh, of a lot of combat in the game. They slightly buffed anti-fighter gun range, they slightly reduced fighter carried cannon range, so typically these are size 1 to 4 weapons here. They streamlined size 5 and up velocities and ranges, and they greatly increased the retaliator's hull health, and they they upgraded the Razer EX's power plant. This was tweaked even further in the 3.14.0 J patch. Uh, they reduced the range of size 1 to 4 cannons. They've increased cannon power efficiency. They've further polished past the cannon fire rate and delay. They upgraded the hurricane power plant and reduced its health slightly. So, I don't think um, cannons should be nerfed as much as they are personally, but this is going to be balanced a huge amount um, for sure. Um, I would actually like to see some cannons used for um, dogfighting, or at least be more specific for dogfighting, because they're sort of like trying to push these um, laser cannons and ballistic cannons to more um, large target, sort of like the larger ships to, to attack them, um, rather than to fight dogfight style. And I do understand that, if you're like maybe fighting a light fighter, you're not, not going to want to use a cannon. Um, but, I still think they've got their uses, and should have their uses. So let's see what um, that happens with that. There's some uh, good quality of life stuff here as well. The star map will now zoom to solar system scale each time it's opened. This should actually fix some issues that it's previously had, and it should be a bit easier to use. They updated the constellation Phoenix's emerald colour to match that of the emerald rover. They've removed the temporary location select override for entering the PU as well now, so you are going to be spawning back where you left off, basically. You can't uh, override that anymore. They have greatly increased the time and cost of impounding uh, for parking violations and reckless vehicle operation around landing pads. They want to um, sort of make landing pads pretty safe with the law system, uh, is the idea here, and sort of like go, well, if you're being naughty, well, you're going to go to prison for a long time, or um, we're going to be impounding your uh, vehicles for a long time, that sort of stuff. Uh, they've updated the new missile lock UI, vehicle ping and blob effects, and the sliced HUD. I've seen a polish pass. Uh, they've added HUD indicators for velocity limiter on and off, VTOL on and off, and GSAF on and off as well. We got some major bug fixes in these patches too. Uh, camera should no longer get stuck in third person if the player gets out of a seat while in third person. Uh, the snow effects should no longer be seen in the interior of New Babbage. Uh, Gladius cockpit should no longer have an intense amount of glare. Players should now be able to sit in the chair in the Carax captain's office. They fixed a vis area issue blocking viewing into the interior of the constellations through the top hatch when opened. The Drake Cutlass Black headlight VFX should now function correctly when the lights are turned on. The MISC Freelancer Miss and Max right engine should no longer be missing VFX. They fixed an issue causing the glaive to land well off center during automatic landings. They fixed an issue causing the ping blob to sometimes disappear if a player uses the ping feature within 5 kilometers of a minor ball. Bartenders should no longer be missing from Orison's Voyager Bar interior. Served drinks should no longer have a chance to return back to the bartender's hand when the bartender serves the drink to the player. Clasher O2 repair mission should no longer fail if any other player leaves or dies in prison. They actually went on to fix a load more in the 3.14.0 J patch. An issue causing fog volumes in Orison to not render when viewed at certain angles was fixed. They also fixed an issue causing signs to have a graphical issue and appearing to be wobbly and blurry when walking around them. Ping blobs should no longer be visible in third person view. They fixed an issue that was causing flickering and shivering asteroids around Grimhex. Dot ships should now have correct collision. They fixed an issue with invisible walls and blocking stairs at the Trade and Development Division in the plaza at New Babbage. Quiet Astray services should now function correctly at New Babbage. AI turrets should now correctly use target prediction. 
they fixed an issue causing large black cubes and bright light particles to be seen within the snow storm clouds on Microtech and the dust storms on Hurston. They fixed an issue causing the seams to be visible in the terrain of Hurston when the LODs and levels of detail switch. Players should now be able to re-enter the Reliance series cockpits after logging out and back in with the Reliance bed. Talon and Talon Shrike should no longer appear damaged in the Vehicle Manager app. Players should no longer be given an extra escaped from custody crime when they are sent to prison. They fixed an issue causing Arena Commander modes to get stuck on searching for match and not loading. Uh, Arena Commander duels should now end correctly when the score limit is reached and should no longer lead to the game finishing early when points reached uh, is too high. Respawning in various Arena Commander game modes should no longer cause the player to instantly die again, which is a problem me and Zin were having the other day going, it's taken two of my lives. Why has it done that with my respawns? Uh, between the two patches, they fixed six client and two server crashes. Uh, they also fixed two main thread deadlocks and four back-end service crashes, as well as they were making multiple back-end service stability fixes and optimizations. This has actually left the patch in a pretty good state when it comes to stability and crashing, at least from my point of view uh, and me playing it. But it does also leave a few known issues that need to be addressed. Orison objects and textures load very slowly. Missiles do not follow flares as a countermeasure properly. Single locations only appear if a player spools their drive before setting destination on the star map, and you have to sort of spool your drive um, before opening the star map as a workaround for that. Uh, various UI markers are faded and hard to read, unable to scan for FPS or rock size, the smaller sort of minor deposits until you're very close is an issue. Security ships do not recognize illegal goods uh, when they're on board a player's ship. Uh, the player is unable to quantum travel in succession without toggling the quantum travel drive on and off uh, again. Um, landing gear proxies are missing on certain ships. Port Tressler is missing a quantum travel marker, at least when the player returns to Microtech. Uh, gas clouds on Crusader appear to have moving graphical artifacts um, that appear as little dots and fuzz. So we know that the cloud tech is still in development. It's not probably going to be fixed for live, sort of bear that in mind. They'll probably try and do some bodge fixes for it, uh, but it is something that they want the cloud tech and the lighting for that to look better and better in the future, and it's not something they can potentially fix for the 3.14 live build. Beyond that, desync is still an issue, although it doesn't seem to be listed on the known issues. Uh, hopefully Clan Imperium has some fixes for that, but it's very possible that it's going to be an issue until we get a larger networking overhaul. So maybe some bodge fixes, maybe some um, part fixes, maybe it won't be so bad. Um, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. As I said, stability for me is fantastic. Balance is going to be the focus for the next few weeks, though. Repeaters are super strong. Ballistics are incredibly um, high DPS. But um, when you run out of ammo, you, you, you're done. And you run out of ammo so fast. And yeah, the, the laser repeaters, they seem to be a huge focus uh, of this patch uh, and the combat at the moment. I'm expecting the build to go to open P2 in the very near future, personally because they're going to need more people to test and balance a load of these combat changes, maybe when a few of those known issues are solved. But what do you think? Are you excited for 3.14? Have you been playing in the Wave 1 PTU? Or are you keenly awaiting the open PTU or live build? What do you think about the balance and combat changes? Good? Bad? In between? Undecided? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Hey, I heard you like VPNs. How about NordVPN then? It's got things like security and features, and we all know chicks dig VPNs. Oh my god, is that Nord? Well, yes. Yes, it is. Wink. Check out the links below to get discounts or go to nordvpn.com forward slash board gamer. Maybe it will align your shackles or something. Actually, let's read some testimonials. Ever since I got NordVPN, my life is good. I wish I'd got NordVPN sooner. I didn't get NordVPN and now I've got no hands! I'm sorry that I recorded this as an ad sin. I, I apologise to my editor. I said I wouldn't go too wacky. That's that's not what's happened here. Every month we have a ship giveaway and for July it's for a Constellation Taurus with lifetime insurance and a Star Citizen game package. All you need to play! This long overdue, more cargo focused version of the Constellation is going to be flyable in July. It's basically a new ship. Woo! sort of uh, to be in for a chance of winning that comment on any of my videos made during july and each video gives you another chance to win but only one comment is counted per video more details down below please also consider supporting the channel further via the youtube join button or via patreon or donation or whatever it all helps us make star citizen content great star citizen content hopefully or at least some star citizen content also you should bother the bell and like and subscribe and all that sort of jazz as well thanks for watching